Hello everybody, Holy Gallagher, and today we're going to react to Ruby vs. Maka from Cart and Fight Club. Now before we start off with this reaction video, if you may notice, I'm actually now recording this on an Android because now I, now I actually have an Android, of course. So, to use this, the Android, I'm going to try to to make a reaction of, of this episode. So this is gonna be like a test for how we will react. If you guys wanna make me more of this, ask me. Do I react to the TV or in the on the Android if you want to? No, well, it's kind of weird that I'm may reacting to this episode, but the only reason why I'm not reacting to this is that I've been actually having fun to react to the series called Ruby. Oh, the, oh, the Super Smash Bros. vs. PlayStation All Star. I did a reaction about that. If you want to go check it out. <laughs> Oh. You know what? Here's something. At first glance, I used to hate sounds, but but now I. Ah, uh, Undertow is just everything on this show. You know what? At first glance, I used to hate sounds, but now I use now I hate Chara and Asriel. They're with that was the most. The most fair characters that I see on the show. My club. Oh, fighters. Also, I kind of will say, it's kind of nice how they give a little stuff about the characters. That's kind of nice. 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 Now, what I said, Chara and Asriel are with Tali now my least favorite Undertale character by now. No. I mean, the reason why I stopped hitting Stamp. Hmm. Here's the thing. I mean, sure, Stamp was definitely the most overused character, but at least he was acceptable to losing. But Chara and Asriel, they just come up winning in every single battle because Chara has the resigning ability and. And that's where else has an immunity to everything if not from emotion, which is kind of bold from my opinion. I will say, the animation of that series looks kind of nice in my opinion. Now, I don't know about the series, but. I think I will have plans to react to this. If you wanted to, re if you guys wanted me to react to the series, tell me. Gotta go fast. Yeah. Uh, Goku, Dragon Ball, Undertale. Why does everything on this show has to be Dragon Ball and Undertale all over? And regard to durability. 
ability and physical capability. Overall, Ruby Rose is a prodigy when it comes to grim hunting and scythe wielding. Yeah. While she is young and has much also, to learn, with yeah, her I super will say, I really been enjoying my Android, to be honest. It's actually a mess. Oh. Now we're Danny's going with Martha. Being the prized daughter of Spirit Albar. However, after she witnessed her father cheat on her mother, Maka became determined to follow in her mom's footsteps to become a Meister. This is the part where Maka partners up with Soul Eater in an attempt to create a dead scythe that is more powerful than that of her father. Maka yeah. is essentially Soul's tactician. She plays the role of Brain while Soul plays Brawn. Together, they make a great duo when it comes to facing witches. Now, these witches are your Halloween group flying hook nose doing witches. <laughs> That's a the witches funny in the one. Soul Leader universe are much more manipulative and dangerous. The general population of humans are extremely also, distrustful if you, of witches. If you so think I'm making this kind of reaction with. It's got my first right reaction on this. This is kind of like a test video. But I will still try to react on the TV. But uh, look, I'm going to here. Maka can be sight with great skill. She is the best scythe that she I guess now I'm totally stuck in a random mode. The Soul Eater's Black Blood and Axe is Maka's armor against attacks while allowing her to increase the speed and strength of her own attacks. Also, about... Also, the other franchise, I have... I have no idea what was this franchise, but... I don't care. I will say, I think, I think we want to meet the fifth of girl. I think it's kind of hilarious. He still needs to be your companion for a while. I think he's there. Also, sorry for a little of my noises. It's not my family. It's actually my bad. Corporation, simulation type, crazy. I will say, the series is kind of boring. Get ready for the fight. That'll begin. And now we're throwing up with the battle. Wire torch. No, it was a fairy. Okay. It's your being headshot. Headshot. I guess that was me. Got him in hell, like Cody will say. Okay, go for my thing. What? This gonna remind me of Dead Battle.
It's no use, like slow motion. Wait, 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 wait! You don't have to fight! Okay. Oh, be careful. It's like, boy. Oh, right in the stomach! Oh. Ooh. Wow, I just passed over. Oh, he jumped over. Oh. 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 Uh, now it's go they're going to from this. Oh, oh. Ouch. I will say the animation is kind of nice. Not the best, but at least it's kind of nice. Oh, yeah. oh, got him. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That kind of the that kind of forward. She's still not knocked out. Oh, oh, right on the back. Oh, he's just in his... just overalls. Boom! Boom! Wow. Okay. Wow! So now they're kind of just in like this kind of solo animation. Interesting. I like that. I think the show is kind of improving. I really hope you enjoyed that animation. Special thanks yeah, to I the did kind of enjoy it. It was a nice one. Not the best, but nice one. If you enjoyed what you saw, please check out their channels. Don't forget to check out my channel for a number of original songs, music videos, and much more than I have made. I hope Little G Fresh still on her co-host. Right He's the best. Post analysis. I was kind of happy about Ruby the man. Oh boy, now while Ruby does win, it is super important to mention these two things. Firstly, we decided to give the technical victory for only taking out Maka. Yes, theoretically, Soul may or may not still be around, but that doesn't matter since we wanted this fight to be looked at as a one on one as strictly as possible. While in its most analytical definition, this is a two on one, we found it completely reasonable to end the fight once Ruby KO'd Maka, regardless of soul status. The second thing is that this fight was such a super close call to make, especially since not only both characters are so statistically similar, we discuss soon, but also because Ruby is still developing as a character, while Maka is okay. pretty much complete. But with Whoa. all this in mind, if you're willing to listen, I would I definitely know. be willing to explain why Ruby is statistically the superior combatant in this theoretical battle. Yeah, speed. You gotta go fast. <laughs> Let's start with speed, and one of the fastest things Ruby has shown actually comes from the wow, iconic Ruby Red Trailer. In this scene, she takes out a total of 51 shit. monsters in just 1 minute and 10 seconds. However, that 1 minute and 10 seconds is direct animation time, not plot time. For example, Flash moves much slower in direct animation time, since it's impossible to animate Whoa. faster than light speeds, Wow, that's kind of interesting. Ruby ended up finishing this battle much quicker. In the final stretch of battle, she fires a round of bullets and then proceeds to dash along 
inside the bullets, she takes out 24 of the 51 total monsters in the time it took for one bullet shell to fall and hit the floor. These monsters are roughly 8 feet high, and when the shell fell from the floor, it didn't dig through the ground as yeah. if it fell miles down. The time it takes for a metal shell like this to fall 8 feet is roughly 4 I'm minutes not with or 3 nuts. of 1 single second. Ruby physically fought and defeated 24 monsters in 0.8 of 1 second. Let's lowball this and forget the fighting part. Just traveling this distance of 2,568 feet with a minimal semblance multiplier would put Ruby at roughly six times the speed of sound, and this is lowballing. Now let's yeah. compare this to Maka. Maka is arguably the fastest thing now, in the Now, if I'm not talking, I'm really a little bit lazy right now, but I'm trying to my best to react. I can find that Maka could realistically scale to is when the demon airship traveled Still 25% faster than Maka as she is 1,059 miles faster than her. The engine speed goes to Ruby. Well, oh yeah, Macho. <laughs> when it comes what a classic strength, thing. Maka can easily scale to the strength of the werewolf character, Free. Free is strong wow, to easily really the character equivalent. mosquito through a brick wall in his 200-year form. His 200-year form is twice as heavy as his 100-year form. Well, that's kind of interesting. Interesting. What's happening? What's happening? That was kind of glitching up. That was weird. I don't know if that was my android or... I don't know if that was, if if that was my android or, or if was for it to be yet. That was kind of weird. Mm -hmm. 
Roblox scale. The edge and durability goes to Maga, but the edge and destruction and power goes to Ruby. Yeah. Intelligence experience. Batman, Iron Man, and Black Panther. I think this is kind this of fun. This is a very tricky category to pick apart, mainly because this is technically a two-on-one. Without question, Maka without Soul Eater is far, far less experienced. If Maka does not have Soul Eater by her side as her sight, Ruby would easily wipe the floor against her. However, we can't end the conversation and judge the battle like this because for a good stretch of also, the fight, these yeah, two are going if that's to start as a pair. Maka and Soul are essentially at the top of their class. Maka being a straight A student, and Maka and Soul have defeated foes such as Krona and Mosquito, who has over 800 years worth of experience. Whoa. While Maka does fight quite a lot in teams and almost always fights as a pair, Maka fights as a solo pair far more often than Ruby fights completely on her own. Ruby <laughs> almost always fights with either Team RWBY or Team RNJR. I will count Maka's duo experience as solo experience since technically she is the tactician. Because of this, I'm going to give a considerable, not a huge, but a considerable intelligence and experience edge to Maka Alvar. <laughs> and our final bird edge. Yeah! No, down there. I like how she did this. this is a super cool map. Ruby holds two edges over Maka being speed and power, and Maka holds a durability and intelligence edge. They both have equal strength. They are split two ways with one tie and strength. The best way to pick a winner at this point is to look at the edges each character holds over each other and see who has the wider gaps. If we look at the orange circle on this blast chart, we can see that Maka's durability edge is roughly four times larger than Ruby's building level durability. It's tough to put a number on experience and intelligence, but at the very least, two heads are smarter than one. So I would say at least Team Maka Indeed. is twice as smart as Ruby. And if you think about it, saying Maka has twice the experience and intelligence as Ruby is a comfortable edge. It's being very me, nice to bring Maka, considering how skilled Ruby is. Ruby is 25% faster than Maka, and Ruby's power is small town level, which is roughly 15 square miles worth roughly 200 times larger than a city block. Maka has multi-city block power at roughly four blocks, making Ruby uh, roughly 50 I mean, times I like the new kind of style, so but it kind of takes a while. Ruby's edges in speed and power are wider than Maka's edges in durability and intelligence. This means that a hit from the silver is blast should be enough to take Maka out. I mean, not the best, but it was a good one. Yeah, the animation was good, but... Considering black blood is created through black magic, the fighting style was a, a nice one. I mean, overall, I can say it's a nice battle. Seven out of ten. What is that? Uh, oh well. There will be a rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas and don't forget to download the free iOS and Android game. I just, I don't care. Stay tuned oh. as I reveal the next fighters for next Sorry, Saturday, August 19. Next Saturday on Cartoon Football. Now I like how they give a little bit of sketch out of this. You don't know though. Oh yeah. That is not the next battle. And that is from the Bat um, vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm not going to react to that, but... but I'm going to react to the other battle that was next. If you... Excuse me. But, anyways, that was it for this reaction video. If you if you would like to see me more react on the Android, ask me on the, question, on the comment below. Also, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I forgot to say this on the um, on the store, but if you want to see the original video, I recommend you check on the description below. I don't know if I said it already in the store, but whatever. I see you guys on the next video. Bye.